Hi guys, how is everybody doing? Tuta Ramon here. In this video I'm going to benchmark Mirror's Edge Catalyst on a single GTX 1070 paired with a Core i7-860. This video is recorded with an external recorder at 60 frames per second. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. The CPU is overclocked to uh, 4 GHz. Twelve gigabytes of memory, and the graphics card is a GTX 1070 made by KFA2. It is the EX model, latest force were installed, and it is running at two gigahertz. I'm going to use uh, Fraps to benchmark a custom gameplay session, basically the first few minutes of the game, and uh, we will see the basic result uh, in this file. Uh, the result will be from Fraps, of course, and I have also uh, loaded my previous run with the GTX 1070 and the 2500K, so we will see uh, how close the uh, H60 will get to be. So let me launch the game. I'm not starting the benchmark yet, of course, uh, it just loaded where I had last uh, reached. So, settings first, 1080p resolution, uh, no restriction on the GPU memory and the overall quality is set at Hyper, which is uh, the highest available preset. And after that is out of the way, I'm going to... Uh, To do what? New game. Why is the new game in the options? I have no idea. Okay, the game has started. I'm starting the benchmark. And on behalf of Kruger Sack and the conglomerate board, I wish to welcome you back to our fair city. So they finally let you anyone well you'll just have to trust me here take this I want to get off the streets a beatling but put it on we need to get you connected and calibrated I know no one's eager to talk to you what the hell come on we need to get moving ah, there's something wrong with this Oh, sorry, almost forgot. We have to cut your grid link. It's causing the interference. Is this what the employees see all the time? Yeah, I guess you're not reformed enough to enjoy it. I'm not reformed at all. There you go. You're off the grid. <laughs> They know you're gone. Time to get off the ground. Get up here. I'll go the other way. 
Bay, meet you up ahead. Noah, she's out. I gave her the B-Link, and she's off the grid. Faith, are you there? Noah? I... Good to hear your voice, but keep moving. We need to get K-Sec off your tail. Easier said than done, Noah. They seem hell-bent on finding her. We got it covered. Faith, you should be coming up on an old warehouse soon. Head inside, and we'll be back. nicely, but they wouldn't step aside. And now they know you came this way. <laughs> like I had a choice. Sure. We need to clear out. Better take a different route to the Everdyne Tower. We'll split up again, keep them confused. Can you make it across to those pipes? Of course. Good. Your B-Link should be calibrated by now and your runner's vision working. Just follow the red and I'll meet you at the tower. Let's go. Look for a zip 
lines leading to Orion. I'm at Orion. Good. Keep going, Faith. I think I lost him. You did, for now. Seems two years in prison only made you better at this. Get to Orion. <laughs> And this is the end of the benchmark. Performance time. Performance evaluation time. 106 frames per second for this run. 115 uh, for the 2500K. Very similar performances. Again, no serious problem. Uh, maybe I was a little hasty to close it anyway 116 I have to remember to check my CSV later uh, frame rate is very high the frame times seem to be in place minimum spikes here and there the GPU usage is not exactly maxed out we do have some uh, dips and not only that it seems to have a problem staying at 99 percent it goes to 98 in many occasions but overall uh, very high load for sure so we do not have a severe uh, cpu limit the cpu load is medium on all cores which indicates quite a lot of thread jumping but we can see that uh, the load goes above 50% so at least in this game we have some real load on the hyper threaded cores which is always a welcome uh, thing to see and probably that's why uh, the H60 is so close with the 2500K of course I'm using very high uh, settings, hyper settings actually I am actually making the game a little more GPU bound but uh, this is how I want to test my processors uh, CPU temps are ok no serious problem no problem at all actually GPU temps are fine RAM usage quite high at 7.1 GB the core clock is at 2 GHz with a drop to 1987 at some point and to 1974 at another point uh, the 1070 seems to uh, have a hard time keeping 2 GHz uh, in this case it was running uh, better on my cooler master it is affected by the overall uh, case temps unfortunately but still quite decent anyway uh, video RAM usage at 4.4 gigabytes in its maximum setting in, in its uh, maximum value and uh, what else the power of the card at around 90% a little less than 90 voltage limit again I'm not sure who I anyway so let's load up our calculator uh, sorry you know what hyper gt gt extend 70 plus i7860 I need of course the mirrors edge this file which I just did 106 106.4 excellent and let me also find my other run on the network drive sorry benchmarks I want mirror search catalyst 
which one is it? I think it is this one. Once uh, one fifteen. Okay, we are very good to go. So we have a slight performance advantage for the uh, 2500k. A little less variability and uh, a little less stuttering. Overall, both runs are very decent. Let's see. I will have to keep a steady chart size, I believe, for the frame times. Maybe I will have to... Anyway, I, th I will think about that later. The frame times seem to be okay. We do have some stuttering from frame to frame in the blue line. And some uh, bigger spikes occasionally, but nothing uh, too serious. They are uh, way below 16 milliseconds, below 14 actually. Very good performance. Time spent beyond 16.7 milliseconds is essentially zero. Once again, the GTX 1070 with the 860 give us a very good performance. The histogram of the frame times shows uh, what I told you earlier. We see most of the frame times below 14 milliseconds. Uh, essentially all frame times are uh, below 14 milliseconds. Most of them are at 9 and 10 and 11. Excellent performance. Very fast rendering from this system as well. Uh, so the black one here is the 860. The new run, the uh, orange one is the 2500K, both very similar overlapping each other, only uh, less than 1 milliseconds of difference in the average, uh, very good performance from both runs. The frame rate is also quite similar. The 2500K is just a tiny bit higher from place to place the runs are not exactly in sync in sync but you can see the difference what i'm talking about they are only a few uh, seconds apart clearly the 2500k is the faster processor here and uh, the same story goes for the min max and average they are where uh, they are supposed to be, with very good performance for both systems, I cannot stress that enough. Variability and stuttering, uh, a little lower for the 2500K, which uh, of course has the better performance. Uh, absolutely expected values from both runs, nothing weird going on. The percentiles once again are very close together. Only uh, one millisecond or uh, one millisecond or uh, one and a half apart. Very similar, very close, and very good performance. Time spent curve finally works correctly in this run. And uh, I think it was correctly anyway. We have more interesting uh, graphs. The comparable frame rate overlaid with the stuttering and the variability. Again, 10 frames per second difference. Uh, nothing too serious. Very acceptable performance from both systems. Very playable and very enjoyable gameplay above all. Another video reaches uh, the end, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Stay tuned and take care.